Hey, it's Jake Mace. Welcome to my channel that focuses on the traditional Chinese martial arts of Kung Fu, but also Qigong and Tai Chi. I put a minute and second mark down below in the description and the comments where you guys can click on to skip this intro and get right to the Tai Chi routine and lesson for today. I'm currently traveling the world and I'm in Paris, France right now. It's populated with lots of people, lots of noises, lots of action, lots of stress. And it's very easy to become overwhelmed when you're in a busy city like Paris. So I've tried to step off the beaten path to a less crowded park area right outside of the Paris Botanical Garden for this Tai Chi lesson today. This Tai Chi video today will have three parts. Part one is going to involve Tai Chi movements from a relatively narrow stance. The knees will still be bent, the rooting will still be strong, the spine will still be straight, and you still want to obey all the physical and spiritual rules of Tai Chi, many of which I'll pop up on the screen for you beginners. But the second part of this Tai Chi lesson will involve what I think is one of the most crucial and important parts of Tai Chi, which is building the stance, building the foundation, and building the rooting you have to the ground beneath you. So the second half of this Tai Chi lesson, the stances will get farther apart, your legs will be tested more, and you should feel like you're getting a little bit of a leg workout for the second half. And if you're a beginner, no matter what your age is, I want you to do the first half with the second half, the yin with the yang, and just do the best you can, no matter what your physical level is. If you have to do a higher stance, then do that. If you can do a lower stance and keep your posture straight, then by all means, do that. This is my 20 year anniversary practicing Tai Chi. For two decades, I've been training and enjoying this incredible Chinese meditation in motion, but also method of self-defense called Tai Chi Chen. I have a new respect for Tai Chi now since I'm backpacking through the world. Literally, everything I own is in my backpack, and I'll be wandering for the next year or so. I'm so thankful that I've been training Tai Chi and traditional Chinese martial arts since I was a teenager because now I have a lot of knowledge in my head of fitness, meditation, and martial art routines that are keeping me healthy, spiritually balanced, spiritually enlightened, and mentally sharp while I'm on the road. When you're in a big city and when you're around a ton of people, as well as when you're on the internet, you can be easily overwhelmed with a lot of clutter. What we say in the Chinese martial arts is you can be overwhelmed by a lot of chattering monkeys and a lot of horses, a lot of untamed horses. And sometimes you can feel claustrophobic in your own body, claustrophobic in your own skin. And it's at these times that the meditation and fitness and spiritual components of Tai Chi are very crucial and very important. Right now I'm traveling on the road. I don't have a daily dojo like I used to that I can go to to train with other students, to spar, to actually hit legs and hit forms with other martial artists. Even though the sparring and the fighting aspects of the martial arts are personally my favorite areas, I have to think about what I can control. And right now what I can control is my spiritual development the development of my physical body, and the training and sharpening of my mind. It's at these times that I'm thankful for the Tai Chi routines, whether they're Yang style, or Chen style, or 24 style, and I wanted to run you guys through some of the postures and some of the movements from Yang style Tai Chi, from Chen style Tai Chi, and from 24 style Tai Chi that I do when I'm at home, on the road, or in close quarters like a hotel room. These are movements you guys can practice at a school, at work, or at home. I have some playlists down below, and they'll pop up on the screen in the upper corner where you guys can access hundreds of Tai Chi lessons I've done in the past from all over the world. And I'm hoping you guys hit the like button down below and share this video with anybody you think needs to bring Tai Chi into their lives. Let's get started with today's lesson.
Thank you for watching till the end of the video. Some tips for you who stuck around, we call them master's tips. Your vision, your visual focus should be able to burn a hole through a wall from across the room or should be able to split a cave in half with your stare. Your visual focus should be like a monkey watching a peach, very focused. If your hands are moving, try to have your vision follow the yang hand. And the yang hand is the hand that's doing the primary motion. So right now my left hand is my yang hand, vision is watching. My right hand is my yang hand, vision is watching. If both hands are doing an action, just stare forward, fixate your vision on one part 
of whatever you're staring at. Be aware and conscious of your peripherals and expand your peripheral vision, but have the ability to have an unwavering focus that does not get distracted by things that might try to interrupt you. Number two, it makes no difference what time of day you train Tai Chi. A lot of traditional Chinese teachers will tell you that you have 12 meridians in your body that carry energy, and the earth also has 12 times during the day that the energy changes its flow. So every two hours, the earth's energy changes its flow. And so there are certain times during the day that are best suited to maximize your Tai Chi practice. I'm not sure that I believe in this. I think that any time during the day is a fine time to practice your Tai Chi, but something that can maximize and supercharge your meditation or your Tai Chi practice are the foods you're putting into your body. And in my opinion, it's ideal to put plant-based foods like fruits and vegetables in as close to their raw natural state as possible so the energy you put in is clean burning if you do this you'll get clean burning energy as the output number two get into nature surround yourself in a forest or a waterfall or a mountaintop or a river or the ocean and you'll get a natural buzz that will supercharge the tai chi efforts you put in number three root down to the earth and keep your knees pressed out but not too far out if you guys look at golfers that do a golf swing, when they go through the golf swing motion, the backswing, they tell golfers to load up their energy on the rear leg right here. They don't want this leg to go outside and they don't want it to fold too far inside. You wanna keep the knee out, but not too far out and load the energy over the back leg and create an X factor. I started a YouTube channel years ago called Tai Chi for Golfers. It's still up there if you guys search for it and Tai Chi and golf have many similarities. You wanna do this same action, create the X factor during your Tai Chi practice. A rooted leg position that firmly plants itself like a redwood tree into the ground, but a flexible upper body like the leaves or the branches of the redwood tree that can turn, twist, and disassociate themselves from the roots down below. So a strong foundation and a flexible upper body. These are the things you want to have to create that X factor in your Tai Chi practice, whether you're doing the form training or whether you're doing, like in this video today, just individual postures for a Tai Chi workout. And the final tip I'll give you is do a little bit of cardio training before your Tai Chi practice begins. Go for a walk, climb some stairs, go for a jog, do a 20 or 30 minute workout, get your muscles, your oxygen, and your blood flowing, and then dive into your Tai Chi practice when you're breathing a little bit and when you're sweating a little bit. This will also supercharge the benefits that the Tai Chi practice gives you. Thank you for watching this lesson. Please share it. It's a very good comprehensive Tai Chi routine that pulls Tai Chi moves from 24 Yang and Chen styles. If you ever train with me, we will focus on Chen as its own art, on Yang as its own art, and on 24 as its own art. We also go into Tai Chi sticky hands, Tai Chi sparring, Tai Chi weapons, and beyond. But I definitely practice Tai Chi routines like the one in this video every day, and I encourage you to do it as well. I'm Jake Mace. You can learn more about me at learnfromjake.com, or you can access my Tai Chi DVD downloads, which are available right now at jakemace.com. You can message me right now at my Snapchat and my Instagram, which is jakemace, Tai Chi. I'll see you guys back here for our next Tai Chi lesson. Who knows what city it'll be from.